Hey everybody, it's the boss lady here coming to you from my vehicle. Um, we we had more snow come and the roads are not great. <laughs> I mean, it snowed its behind off Saturday night into into Sunday, all day Sunday. But anyway, so the roads are slick, horrible. But that's not what you came here for, right? <laughs> so your girl. Your girl, me, failed yesterday because of the ice and the snow. Yep, I failed. And uh, don't feel good. So I go to the doctor in an hour and a half. Oh, I did not sleep well last night. I don't know if it was the pain or if it was my husband keeping me awake. My husband has a head cold, which... I'm very concerned about y'all know I get real concerned when it comes to boss man and he was up throughout the night snorting snot and coughing and child I had to go and get coffee <laughs> like for real I had to get coffee because I was fit to be tired this morning uh, just dropped out Miss Pina at school I took her to get donut and little Red Bull drink thing that she liked. Um, so, yeah, so now I'm on my way home. Um, all the plans that I had for spring break have been cut short. Woo! Lord have mercy. Have been cut short due to the fact... Um, due to the fact that I'm hurting. And when I'm hurting, I can't do much. So that makes me mad. Um, I was supposed to start in my room. I'm gonna still try my best. Um, I got the garbage bags and all that stuff. And I'm, I'm still gonna try my best. Cause I wanna set my room up. Yes, I, I do. I wanna set my room up so when I come back from vacation, knowing that I'm getting ready to go into beast mode, at work, I want to come back to a nice, beautifully cleaned out, thoroughly decluttered room. Um, tomorrow, I have a field trip with Miss Peanut. <laughs> Wednesday, I'm going to be doing a principal appreciation lunch for the principals. So, uh, and that's just out the kindness of my heart. Um, I've been wanting to do this. We're supposed to be doing some type of like appreciation for our principal. Um, I think it's towards the end of this month. Like everybody takes a week and you know just show up with a gift, and that's for our head principal. But our assistant principal, he's just as well needs to be acknowledged. So, excuse me. He likes this food called Soul Rolls. If you ever heard of it, oh my gosh. We have a restaurant here called Wendy's Soul, Wendy's House of Soul. And she makes these soul rolls. And he had the taco kind. So I'm going to try to see if I can get more than one. I, I want to see if I can get like a sample plate or whatever of the different soul rolls for them. Um, and take that to the school. Oh, we Jesus. I'm sliding. Lord. ABS. Praise God. Praise God. Whew. And there was a bus coming. Child. When I tell you this, I say no joke. So anyway, I want to get them sample plates of the soul rolls because um, now our head principal is a black woman. Our vice principal is a white man. And when our vice principal had the soul rolls at one of our PTA meetings, he fell in love. And like, he kept saying, can I get another one? Can I get another one? I mean, he just enjoyed it just that much. So I want to be able to bless them and just say, you know, out of the kindness of my heart, you know, I appreciate everything you guys have done. You know, our principal, our head principal has been through hellfire and grace. And, you know, the vice principal just as well. So, I want to be able to just bless them because that's what I want to do. So, so that's Wednesday. Then we got Thursday coming this week. And Thursday will be all about packing. Um, getting ready for our trip. We leave Thursday night after Miss Pina gets off work. And, um. So, she's excited. I'm excited. I mean, technically, we're only going to be there technically a day and a half. Uh, we leave Thursday, you know, so we get there Thursday night. 
and then we have all day Friday, and then we have part of Saturday, and then we come back Saturday evening. Um, you know, but it's just a quick little, quick little getaway, just so you know we can spend time and enjoy ourselves. Uh, we already have Thursday night planned out. Friday will be resort life, and then Saturday uh, we'll probably be going to the mall and you know Ross and all that before we hit the road. But um, so yeah, and we have our whole Thursday night like planned out to do the resort and all that stuff. Yeah, there's a person in front of me. There's turkeys in the street. Lord help. I'm going to show y'all. If they turn off, I'm going to show y'all these turkeys. But luckily, I ain't got nowhere to be. They scared to drive because the turkeys in the tur <laughs> The daddy turkeys got their, their... Let me see. Hold on. Can you see them? So the daddy turkeys, the adult turkeys, they got their their uh stuff their tails fanned out so that nobody can cross until the younger ones get across oh my goodness yes city life baby city life what this side of the street where they're crossing to city life this side of the street is suburban life nowhere near the country lord help this person will put their car in park to watch the daggone turkeys are you flipping kidding me Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm about to be I'm about to be rude. Oh. Get out the way. Like seriously. This person, if you drive towards them, they're not gonna stand there. They're going to move. We do it every day. These people wanna literally sit here and watch the flipping turkeys. I kid you not. So now someone else done pulled up on the opposite side trying to go down the street. And Lord have mercy. And the turkeys still got their, their feathers out. Look. <laughs> so you see the other car too? Oh, yeah. When I tell you this is Lord have mercy. Just drive already. Just drive through. They're going to move. They don't want to be hit, so they gonna move. Look at that one. Like, yeah, you bet not. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just drive. Lord help. And I'm I'm all for, you know, don't kill a bird. If you drive close to them, they will they will get up and fly. Oh my goodness. So the opposite car, they coming through. <laughs> Lord, now they're going to drive around. Finally. Finally, I get to go. Like, these people were so scared to just... Child. Like I said, I do this all the time. They don't ever just stay there. Or they will be. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I mean? Lord, help. Anyway. I'm going to pull up in the back because I got to go to the doctor. So, I might as well be back here where I can just, you know, get in the car and pull off. But um, anyway, so Thursday is all about packing and, you know, being ready to rock and roll. We already, she, Miss Peanut gave me a list, child. You would have thought, I'm, I think I'm the Uber driver. <laughs> Boss lady, the Uber driver, because she done gave me a list. Now, Ma, don't forget to pack this and don't forget to pack that. Girl, I know what I need to pack. I said, well, half our stuff is upstairs. She was like, oh, okay. Well, we need make sure you get our cards, and we're gonna be doing um, we are gonna be doing crafts, so that's gonna be kind of cool. Um, I don't know if we're, I'm actually gonna record. I think I might just kind of be in the moment, um, because I do want to spend quality time with Miss Peanut. Now, of course, you know I'll show you the resort when we're out and about in the resort. Probably more so the games, not the water, because I don't want my phone getting wet. I had a water thing for my phone that I never used, but I don't recall where I put it. I think it's in a linen closet somewhere, but child no. Anyway, um, so that's pretty much it. And then like I said, the weekend will be at the resort. We come back Saturday. And I'm actually gonna let Saturday just kind of drive itself. Uh, I know she wants to go to the movies and I don't know if we're gonna do the movies in 
Wisconsin or if we'll do the movies when we come back to Minneapolis. I'm not sure yet. Either way. And then, you know, Sunday will all be about mommy getting rest. Because mommy got to hit hard come the 20th. Um, and then once I go back to work on the 20th, I got a lot of stuff that I got to do as far as work is concerned. <clears throat> and then also I have my advisor meeting for school. So that's all I got going on. But y'all, let me tell you about that daggone fall. Mm. So we went over to my in-laws and where my in-laws live. And when I say my in-laws, I'm talking about my husband's godparents, his aunt and uncle. Because um, if those who don't know, my mother-in-law is passed. My father-in-law is still living, um, and at this point in time, um, my father-in-law and I are not speaking, so I don't go to my father-in-law's at all. He comes by here. He does not come in my home. I mean, it's a big, long story, and I'll probably tell you guys about that in a, in a story time um, later on down the road, but it's been... It's been a year and some months. It's been, okay, how long have I had the truck? So it's been as long as I've had the truck, pretty much, that we stopped speaking. So it, yeah, it's, and it's a lot, but I'll go into that in another story time. Anyway, so we went by my in-laws, um, my aunt and uncle-in-law, and I told you it had been snowing, it's icy, whatever. So our alleyways are not plowed great and it's like there's grooves you know tire grooves tracks or whatever that you drive on and then like in the middle there's that big hump of ice well we drove in the back of their home and we parked in this parking lot that's like right behind their home and we were walking across the parking lot fine it was all snow once we got to the alley piece of it where the grooves were it was nothing but ice even though there was snow out there it was nothing but ice and i slipped on one of the grooves, I tried to put my foot on the 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 ice that was like in the middle of the grooves, and when I put my foot down, I slipped there as well, and there was nothing I could do but fall. There was nothing I could hold on to. My husband was ahead of me, and we were talking, and he was like, every time you get to fussing, that's when you fall. I was like, I wasn't fussing. All I was saying is he didn't have boots on. He actually had on tennis shoes, but he was able to gingerly walk. And I thought I was gingerly walking. And yeah. Anyway, so both feet of mine just came from under me and I fell back on my back. And yeah, my husband had to come and get me up off the ground. It was bad. So, I don't recall hitting my head. I just remember, I just remember not seeing anything. Like, I saw the snow and ice as my feet were shuffling. And when I knew that I was going down, I closed my eyes. And when I opened my eyes again, all I saw was sky. So, um, so yeah, that's what happened. And back is jack up so i took once i got home of course you know dinner had been cooking so of course i had to finish dinner um because we had all that snow so bossman came outside to shovel and miss pina was doing i don't know miss pina's things and so all i did was um well, i had cooked a roast yesterday for dinner i'll insert a picture of that because my roast came out good but um, I cooked the rolls. I just whipped up some mashed potatoes real quick. Oh, they were so good and buttery. And then um, we had Caesar salad on the side. And that was it. Because I'm like, that's all I can muster. So after I sat down to eat, I took me two Tylenol PM. Well, no, I put my pajamas on. I was like, in case I'm not able to get back up, let me already be in my pajamas. So I put my pajamas on. And because uh, we got home roughly about 2 I think it was 2 o'clock. Heck, I don't know. These hours unchanged on me, child. Because... It's after eight now, so I think as we, I think we're on the right time schedule. But anyway, I think it was after two o'clock. So I put my pajamas on right away. I sat down to eat. I took me two Tylenol PMs and I passed out sleep. And I slept for some hours. When I woke up, I got up and I was hungry. So I made me something to eat, and I took me two more Tylenol PM and went to bed and so when i got up this morning i was a little groggy you know from taking that medicine or whatever but you know 
but like to get up like right now sitting in the car like me sitting here i'm not moving muscles in my back i'm only moving my hands and you know my fingers so i'm not feeling it but when i get out the car i feel it when i get in the car i feel it when i'm walking i feel it so um it's 8 27 now my appointment's at 10 so i'm gonna go in i'm gonna finish my coffee make me a little breakfast check on boss man and then i'll be leaving here probably about mm, an hour i'm giving give myself some time to walk out to the truck be able to get over there you know be able to walk inside so yeah <sighs> your girl mm, your girl's not good i don't think i hit my head though i think because i had on this puffy coat right and i mean and my butt sticks out I, my, we got a juicy booty back there so my butt took the brunt end of the fall i think so it's, it's more so low back area where i'm really hurting um so my butt and tailbone area took the brunt end of the fall but i know but when he got me off the ground i was laid out flat um and he got me up right away so i didn't even have time to register if i had hit my head but last night i did have a headache um but as you see i'm walking and talking and well not walking but you know i'm up moving or whatever i did have nightmares last night though and i think whenever i'm feeling sick whenever i'm feeling pain um if i feel it while i'm sleeping i have nightmares and so i did have a severe i had a weird dream last night this morning whatever and yeah so i know the pain was the cause of those nightmares um i'm not gonna take anything just yet i'll wait till i come back from the chiropractor because i know they'll probably put stems on me they'll probably put um you know stems the heating pad and all that and then of course they'll do the massager thing and the activator and all that so you know i probably won't be feeling the greatest you know coming from there so i'll take my tylenol pm after that um but yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to see how I feel once I get in the house. I might start bagging up some stuff in my room. I don't know if I'm going to record the before. Because the before of my room right now is embarrassing. Um, maybe I might take pictures of the before and then film the after. I might do that. Um, you know, see how I feel. I have to think about what I'm going to do with my dresser. Like, there's stuff on my dresser, especially on my side of the dresser, that really don't need to be there. It could go in the trash. But I haven't decided on that just yet. So, yeah, we'll see. But I at least want to, you know, like, record the bed and the windows, stuff like that. Um, I actually wanted my husband to change the room around, but I'll leave it as is. And then we still have other things to get. So, the the uh video for my room will be forthcoming it won't be no time soon because even if i get it all cleaned out the way i want to there's still some things i want to purchase for there in order to get it to be to my liking um i really would like new lamps i would like to get new lamps i would like to get new like side tables too but who knows when that will be um i haven't been thrifted in a while and with my back, I can't. Because, you know, I want to go thrifting, but I want to go thrifting for, like, pieces. You know, not just clothes. And I just, I don't have the capacity to do that right now. So, that'd be that. But, with that being said, guys, it's 831. So, let me go in here and give me some breakfast. Check on Boss Man. See if he wanted any breakfast. And then, I'm going to uh, sit for a little bit and then head on to the doctor. But, just want to kind of give you a recap update on this week. Hopefully, I can get some more footage of different things that I'll be doing. I'm not sure as far as the um, field trip tomorrow. I might. I mean, I don't want to. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see about that because it's it's a little, it's a sensitive subject of the field trip I'm going on. So, we'll see how I feel once I get into the elements of things. Um, but that be all for this video. You guys have a great day. Pray my strength in the Lord with this back, y'all. And I'll see you in another video. Bye, guys.